Hello team, welcome back. So in previous lecture, we have seen what are the environment variables in Jenkins. Today we will see how we can create the environment variable in Jenkins. So suppose you have some kind of constant value which you want to use very frequently or which you want to use in multiple jobs and you want to use that particular thing as environment variable, right? You want to use that value as environment variable. So how we can do that kind of stuff, how we can create the environment variable in a Jenkins which will be constant across the Jenkins and whenever you will update the value that value will be updated across all of the jobs So we will go to the Jenkins server and this is the job what we are executing environment variable Right, let's go to the dashboard of your Jenkins and go to the manage Jenkins In the manage Jenkins we will go to the configure system and in the configure system if you will scroll a bit you will get an option global properties and within the global properties, we are getting a option environment variables. Let's click this. As soon as you will click this, you will get an option to add the list of variables. And over here, you can add multiple variable or you can add any number of variable what are required for your work. So we will click this. So you can see we need to add the name and the value of the variables. So first we will add the name. So I will add system admin name right and i will add my name over here as a value then i will add another environment variable and call system admin email and i will add my email over here so you can see these are the environment variable name and this is the environment variable value this is the another environment variable name and another environment value simultaneously we will edit my job so we will configure my job then we will go to the build section and within my build section suppose we are going to put some kind of separator let's scroll this a bit so over here we are going to put some kind of separator so here we added a separator we will add another echo statement and put system admin name is we need to define the environment variable which we declared so this is the environment variable name we will define it over here Again, put an echo statement and put system admin email is put dollar and define the second variable name. Right, so we are using both of my variables which we defined the system admin name and system admin email. We will save this job. We will save this global configuration as well. Now let's execute this job one more time. So we will click on build now. The second build executed, we will open this build, go to the console output and see we are getting the system admin name is Anshul Chauhan and system admin email is Anshul C double five at the red gmail.com. How we are getting these values? We are getting these values from the environment variable which we have declared within my Jenkins server. So if you have any constant value which you want to define globally for your Jenkins server, you can define that value within the environment variable and you can use that environment variable across your jobs. This is this thing have a multiple benefits. So suppose you have some kind of hard coding in your job and and in future suppose you want to update the value of that hard coded thing, right? So you need to update that value everywhere wherever you have declared. But if you are using the variables, so you just need to change the value at one place and that will be reflected across the Jenkins server. So this is the way how you can define your custom environment variables in Jenkins. Thank you team. See you in the coming lecture.